Patrick, why are you wearing that sick hat? Oh, I'm glad you asked, because uh, last week we played 60 Seconds, and we got some really neat hats from playing a couple of the scavenge challenges. And so today, we're going to play survival challenges. Or at least one of them. The Blast claimed our scout book, as well as our first aid kit. Even the map got all torn up somehow. These items probably won't be in high supply right now, so we need to learn to live without them. Timmy's knowledge has now become invaluable. He must guide us through his struggle towards a better tomorrow. We must care for him and protect him, for the scouts shall inherit the earth. That's so funny, because a couple weeks ago, um, I was very dedicated to keeping Timmy alive. So, I guess we're going to be doing that again. <laughs> I'm not sure I understood what our um, objective was, aside from keep Timmy alive. I'm also just going to play with these ear flaps the whole video, so get used to that. Oh, hi. Okay, we have everybody here. The scout book was lost to the blast as well. If no other scouts made it, Timmy may be the only person in the wasteland who ever took a survival class. And we used to make fun of him for it. Joke's on you, nerds. Well, we're not laughing now. Little Timmy needs to protect needs to be protected at all costs. Oh god. Um, yep, everyone's already kinda looking scruffy. And Dolores is already crazy. Dolores' sanity is questionable. Sorry, she's not crazy. Day five. All is weird, but we think those roaches are trying to communicate with us. Is it possible they're now our intellectual equals? Maybe we could turn them into a cheap labor force to support our survival efforts. Once a capitalist, always a capitalist. Okay, so I think this is what I was talking about with a... Timmy can communicate with these cockroaches. Oh god, Dolores is not looking good. Day six. Um, so we keep getting posed with, like, ways that we can get rid of the cockroaches. I think we need to just keep them around. Because, yeah, we intentionally don't have the Boy Scout book, which can smash them. Um, this didn't give us any, uh, like, bug spray for them. We do have a rifle. That seems like a real thing. Day 8, Teddy's back. And I think he brought some food. Oh, he just inspected the neighborhood where he got one food one water and a flashlight good job teddy mary jane used to be so cheerful but lately she's been feeling a bit down um she said she would die for a chance to play her tuba again um which might just be upstairs yeah let's go let her see if she can find it oh mary jane came back it's day 10, so everybody gets water, but did she come back with anything? Nope, she just, just returned. Cool. Phone call. So technically, I think this goal is just to escape and make sure that Tim survives. So easiest method would probably be the twins or the army. All right, day 16. It doesn't look like Dolores is coming back, so that's great. And Timmy went crazy because he remembered that it's his birthday, the man of the hour, and we didn't have any gifts to give him because all of the gifts are the Boy Scout items that they didn't let us have. All right, day 18, we just sent Teddy outside. And fun fact, last week we did the babysitting scavenge where we had three food, three water. I know there's only two up there, but that's because one of them is Um, And they were supposed to look after each other. Alright, the cockroach problem's also getting, like, way out of hand. But I think that's a good thing. I love the, like, dead-eye stare that Mary Jane has, just, like, right next to Timmy. Poking out Teddy Bonker's eyes. Just like, I don't move. How did Timmy get sick? Timmy still hasn't recovered his full mental competency. Which, I guess, made him super sick? Alright, Mary Jane, go, go help this man find his twin sister. Day 22. Ted came back and he is sick. And what did he even get? What did he even bring us? Uh, to a primary school. To water. Um, a map? Which we weren't allowed to have. Okay, good job. Except everyone's gonna die. 
All right, we're sending out Mary Jane. She's the only person freaking left. We need to get saved. <laughs> Traitor alert! Timmy Scavenge comic books are mostly harmless. Are mostly harmless fiction pulp. However, some of them don't feature the brave Astro Citizen program astronauts, but cosmonauts. This boy is eating up Soviet propaganda. What a disgrace! Should we banish Timmy to the wasteland for his traitorous ways? No, that sort of defeats the entire purpose of what we're doing. The end. Because Timmy left. Because he went insane. Cool. We're gonna go ahead and try this one more time. Alright, I think we have pretty good supplies right now. Uh, could have sworn a huge puddle of water wasn't there earlier. We'll go ahead and save the radio. All right, and just right off the bat, we are going to send Teddy outside with the gas mask. All right, day four. Timmy and Mary Jane are in need of some physical exercise. Let them run around outside in the wasteland. Seems a bit too adventurous, but they could play tag in the shelter. Sure, why not? Keeps them happy, healthy, and fit. And they found water. Okay, okay. So we're only on day six. But so far, it's asked me if the kids could run around and play in the shelter, which I said yes to, and that resulted in water. Then it was saying we should do something to occupy their time, so I let them listen to the radio. They're both like everybody in the shelter is perfectly fine. Now it's asking if we want to talk to Mary Jane. This run seems to be way more focused on helping everybody's mental health. Which is a good thing. But I got none of this last round. Okay, but day 10, it's asking again if we want to send Timmy to the Wasteland for the, for the Astro Citizen Program astronauts. But cosmonauts! So no, right? Day 11, Teddy's back. And he's not sick, and it looks like he brought us some food and water. Um, he went to a bus station where he was able to get two waters. And that was it. It was just water. Congratulations. Okay, day 12. We have finally made contact with the military. So, this might be our quickest route to just... Getting Timmy out of here. All right, day 18, the roaches are back and Mary Jane's sick. Oh, pancake. Pancake's also here. Okay, Mary Jane left and now Timmy's sick. Okay, I... Tomorrow's supposed to be the day that everyone gets food and water, but... Whatever. All right, med kit, med kit, no. Uh, a bar, she went to a bar called The World's End where she got one can of soup. Uh, you were gone for days for one freaking can of soup. All right, we're gonna send the cockroaches away because they're apparently getting people sick. All right, Ted, please have a very quick excursion that comes back with a med kit. All right, we did find a rifle. Teddy, come back with a med kit. Oh, Timmy sounds awful. Ah, dang it. Mutant rodents were attacking our supplies. We wasted our rifle, and Timmy had to leave because he wasn't getting proper medical care, and Ted wasn't coming back. Uh, 27 days in our shelter. All right, not fooling around anymore. I'm, uh, listen to that, I'm clipping that in. Serious this time, we're doing it, last chance. This is the thing, we keep finding spiders everywhere, they're in our soup, they're in our water. Um. Yeah, day one. Spiders everywhere. There is a chance, if we don't do anything, we'll get Mutant Mary Jane. We also can't do anything, so hopefully that's what happens and we don't all just get super sick. Boo, just regular Mary Jane. Okay, day six. It is, once again, Timmy's birthday, the man of the hour. And... None of the items that we have are ones that we can give him for his birthday. So, expect to see a mutilated Teddy Bonkers in three, two, one. Oh! I stand corrected. Day 10. 
What's that glowing in your pocket, Timmy? Oh no, mutated ants! Their terrifying little mandibles almost gave Dolores a heart attack. She wants them out, but Timmy says it's the beginning of an atomic ant farm. Uh, one of them has to have it their way, but who? It'll be Timmy, because I think this is what I was talking about, an atomic ant farm. And we have the harmonica. And it's day 11 and Ted's back. And he broke the gas mask. Timmy was allowed to keep his atomic ant farm. To the detriment of our supply stash, the little mutants scattered, devoured a whole can of soup, and escaped under the cover of night. Oh. They'll be back. Alright, day 14, there was a ring. So, we activated the twin ending. Day 20, Dolores is finally back. And she brought some food and water. Ugh. You rock. You provide for your family. Uh, the ruins of a local museum. Okay, cool. So she found two uh, waters and two soup cans. And a padlock! That's how you provide for your family, Ted. Oi, Dolores is not doing well. She uh, got a little nick on her excursion. Day 24, Timmy followed uh, a map to the X and got us a radio. All right, and the twins came and we're sending out Mary Jane to help rescue one of the siblings. She looks fine. Day 26, Ted's back. And he's sick too, that's great. And he went to a junkyard where he got two soup and a uh, uh, axe. Cool. All right, we're sending Mary Jane out. Let's hope that she comes in clutch. And Dolores is gone. And Timmy's sick now. And the radio's busted. Open in the name of freedom? Sure. What do we have to lose at this point? Nothing. They didn't do anything. They gave us two water? Are you kidding me? I've kept my door shut to these guys every single time. Sure, we'll exchange cards for water. I, I'm not sure how much longer we got. Day 32, Mary Jane's back. Please, please, please have a med kit. Nope, she's sicker than a dog too. Uh, our family would never visit a bar except for the fact that, that Dolores already did. Uh, but that's where she went, and she got one can of soup, two waters, and the cards that we just sold. And even a checkers board. That's so nice. Um, at least we'll have something to do while we perish. Sure, a hunter wants our ammunition? Sure, it'll serve her better. And Timmy left because he wasn't gonna get medical care. Hunger drove Timmy insane. Uh. Can't seem to keep Timmy alive. But that was three tries, and I can't tries no more. We'll come back and we'll revisit this at some other point, sure. Um, any tips, tricks, hints? Leave them in the comments below, that way I can keep Timmy alive and actually just get him out of there. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, or if you're not new, just haven't subscribed yet, and I will see you. Bye! Also, leave a like if you like my cool hat.